I suggest visiting the fish market. Let's try. Along this road, we're going to the center of Kamchatka in Milkovo village, where we're going to stop, change clothes. How long are the horns? A meter. A meter? I wouldn't say so. Well, today we'll come to the base camp. Tomorrow morning we'll be in the mountains. There is a tent camp there. We'll walk and see everything. Semyon is a very experienced hunter. Let's go! This is the Kamchatka River. We are rafting on it by boat, then by quad bikes. We are going right here in the foothill area, where we have a base camp. Here, in this area, you will hunt. Censorship! Censorship! He's joking. This is our first day in Kamchatka. We are rafting against the current. Then we'll reach the parking place of the quad bikes and use them afterwards. And after that, we'll set off to the base camp. Well, the first quad bike started up. Now we will ride for two hours or two and a half. Then we'll relax in the Russian sauna, enjoy dinner, go to bed, and we'll start hunting at dawn. That's the progress. The bikes have changed the horses. It's much faster to move by bikes than on horses. According to our plans and hunters' reviews, we should start at the foothill. And only after that admire nature and breathe fresh air. Chatka jungle. Beautiful. Traditional Russian hospitality. The Russian sauna is ready. At dawn, with clean body and a clean soul, without any city bustling, we'll set off to the mountains. The morning is rather cloudy today. Forecasters promise two days of rain. In general, rain isn't a problem for us. Hope there won't be fog. In mountains, there can't be fog without rain, just like smoke without fire. So we'll have a long rest in a tent. Should I just pull? Yeah. Okay, everything's fine. Today I drive a truck, carry our freight directly to the hunting area. This is a six-wheel drive quad bike, which is much more interesting to ride. 
but the steering system is very similar to the motorbike you're all. We'll see how it climbs up the mountains. The passability isn't very good though. It feels, of course, that it is a six-wheel drive quad bike. It's a huge advantage. It is like a car. A four-wheel drive bike or a six-wheel drive bike. My bike stalled. There are places which even it can't overcome. The last hundreds of meters of the forest, then clean mountains and hills, where our hunt for Kamchatka sheep will start. Here it is, Kamchatka. A real beauty. Exactly for this we came here. 1,017 meters above sea level. Here we'll leave our bikes and further we'll go on foot for approximately two kilometers. Our camp is behind this ridge. The tents have already been pitched. I carry my tent myself on my shoulders. I look like Sherpa. To stay alone in a tent is much more comfortable and definitely it is worth carrying this load for some distance. Of course, we could reach this place by the quad bikes, but we didn't want to create extra noise. These places are very encouraging. Only the weather isn't very promising. On the other side, the sky is quite clear in a valley. It's time to meet the rest of the group. It's unclear who will join who. We, them, or they, us. Sergey, Sergey too. Great. Just a moment. Let me take out the carbine. Oh, filming. Hello. Sergey. Pavel. Now there are five of us. Yeah. After all, my carbine turned out to be so light. We are mounting our houses for the time being. Well, it should be here. The main thing is to center the tent so that it doesn't distort. As the proverb says, make haste slowly. Well, my house is ready. Fifteen minutes. Behind my back, you can see a canyon. We'll climb there and get on the ridge. There is quite an advantageous position where we're going to wait, because it's 1 p.m. now, quite clearly lunchtime. We'll settle there and observe from the top. The first signs of sheep's presence, footprints, not very distinct due to the rain. It rained here a day before yesterday, so they were here two days ago. It means the sheep is here, and the task is to find it. Now we are at an altitude of 1,500 meters. We climbed here from the base camp, which is at an altitude of 1,100. I think after 150 meters, we'll reach our goal.
here. Fresh footprints. The first three hours of search finally gave a certain positive result. At least we are sure that the sheep is here. We saw some livestock waste and some fresh footprints. Below, we observed quite old footprints, but on the ridge, obviously, they are from this morning. And judging by the footprints, this is not a group, but some lonely sheep. Basically, Pavel and Sergei told me that they had seen a couple of lonely sheep that is not in a flock. And now, they can hide somewhere. Let's walk over here on those stones. Let's go. It is the first day of our hunt anyway, only three hours. It would be silly to expect the results so fast. As there is no sheep here, we decided to treat ourselves with some berries. Bon appetit. It stands somewhere without moving, or maybe lies. Well, doesn't show its presence. Of course, we could use infrared scanner and considerably facilitate the search. But in my opinion, it is kind of unfair. We still have 10 days ahead. Well, tomorrow is another day. What should we take? Some soup and pasta. It boils instantly. Imagine, he says take it away and get out. You always want to take everything from here. Today is the third day of my hunt and we can see how the fog is coming. It is the main reason why we stay the second day in tent. They are all over there, in the mountains. You can't throw away any part of the sheep's skull. Everything is eatable, especially palate, eyes, and lips. There are people who eat lips and tongues. Lip is a delicacy. I don't understand how to eat these lips. We eat only tasty parts. Elk is considered to be a clear animal, as its neck is so short that it can't touch the ground. Doesn't it take anything from the ground? It takes. It kneels and eats the grass. By the way, I've seen this. Such a heavy fog. We've taken a decision tomorrow to set off further in the mountains, because the sky clears from time to time. Well, we'll try our luck. It will be better than just to stay here in tents and wait. Although the mountains are quite short, the rocks are very slippery after the rain. It wasn't very easy to climb these 400 meters. There you can see two female sheep and a calf. The distance from us is about one kilometer. I went there, you need to go down, but they are quite reachable. If there were male sheep, we could take them today. Haven't you seen any? No, only female sheep. Our fourth hunting day is coming to its end. It's 7 p.m. now, and in an hour it will get almost dark. We are returning to our camp. The weather is foggy and it starts to rain again.
Good morning. The tilt is 60 degrees. We've climbed 300 meters. 200 meters more and we are at the ridge. The morning is sunny today. Below it's quite foggy. But it's very fresh and we are in a cheerful mood. We don't feel any tiredness. Well, we have warmed up a little after a long waiting in a tent. The fog is rising. What should we do? Let's wait until they feed and lie down. We need to approach them at least at 500 meters. Maybe there will be even less. Now we are passing around that summit and come out right opposite them. Walking on this side, we can shorten our way. Well, we have located three big sheep below. We've seen that one from the other side, then went around the hill. Now we are waiting either they walk around this ridge or come straight to us. Due to the fog, we can't be sure where they are. We can't move towards them because we don't want to expose ourselves. The only hope is that the fog disappears. The wind is minimal. The weather changes every minute. One of them would make a very decent trophy, but with cheap horns. Fog. I can't see anything. We've walked around the sheep. No visibility. The approximate distance is 330 meters. But we changed our location and reduced the tilt so that I could aim when opportunity comes. Nothing. The fourth hunting day here in Kamchatka is coming to an end. It was quite busy. Due to the fog, I lost the sheep I aimed. Luck was on their side. It was at 12, and then it was foggy the whole day. We waited in vain. We took a decision to return to the camp. Behind my back, you can see quite an easy descent we used to return. The main difficulty is slippery rock as it rains. Generally, today we climbed only 750 meters and walked 10 kilometers. That's it. We are moving to the camp where dinner is ready. To dinner! Yesterday, we weren't able to hunt at all as it was very foggy. We had a forecast for four rainy days, and it was really so, according to the location of our camp, here, behind my back. Everything's fine except for the drops falling on the face and disturbing while sleeping. That's it. All is well. I think the sheep are doing the same now. Lying. We decided not to frighten anyone, not to walk in fog. We don't see anything, but they could hear us and move to another place. Today we woke up at 5, had breakfast, and set off very fast. At dawn, we were almost at foothill. We climbed to the position where we were on Sunday, our first hunting day. Today, in 1 hour and 25 minutes, we climbed 525 meters. The distance is two and a half kilometers.
These are fresh today, not even winded. Hope we'll be luckier today. Today our strategy is to divide into two teams and explore the sheep's habitat as much as possible. I started to observe and after 15 minutes I noticed three sheep below by the river. Semyon has gone. Well, we have located three big sheep below. Just by the river, the tilt is 40 degrees. If we take this way along the ridge, the wind is from our side. Generally, we should understand the direction of the wind. Let's observe for a while. Anyway, they are far off drinking water and eating. Three impressive male sheep. Petrovich went after Semyon and will take the decision. I didn't wait for Semyon as he was on the other side and rain was forecasted in the afternoon. Rain is always accompanied by fog here. I started preparing for a shot in a rush, managed to approach the sheep at the distance of 550 meters. The tilt was 3940 degrees. But when I approached, they noticed me. They lined up in a row and started moving toward the cedar forest. I reduced the tilt of my aiming trajectory just to a minute and a half. I had to take a decision really fast. The beast was taken. I hit the rear part of its body. Afterwards, we descended to the location of a wounded animal. Congratulations. Good job. Excellent. But the beast needs to be finished. Otherwise it... I started to drive it from below. Then Pasha came. Yeah, I came. And it ran past me. Well, it's somewhere by the waterfall. Wait. That's it. That's it. Done. The Kamchatka sheep is taken. Today is the first sunny day in six days. So we were able to take full advantage of this opportunity. We spent five days in a tent, fog. We walked 10 kilometers. We had an opportunity to take the trophy the day before yesterday, but the mountains and fog decided otherwise. That is the importance of the sun. Here it is, decent. Maybe horns are not of a good trophy quality, but decent hunt is worth it. The base is good, the base is good, but doesn't close in a circle. Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's approximately nine years old. Here it is, deserved. Kamchatka sheep. Many thanks to Semyon Petrovich. There he is, a legendary cook who fed us six days. Semyon was right from the very beginning. As he said, when the visibility is good, the hunt is successful. But the river helped us because it hid noise from my descent. Initially, the distance was 850 meters. I managed to approach it for 300 meters. I took it from the first shot and finished from the second. The sun shined directly at me, which was a huge disadvantage. I was almost exposed. They started moving. I managed to make shot at a short pause during their move. This is the very first shot. Yes, you hit it in the back. A little more and would be a miss. The bullet moved a lot, 550 meters. Well done. Thanks. Great. 
we congratulated each other. A good day, a good trophy. Honestly, maybe it is not that great, but I took it myself. In eight hours of our hunt, we climbed 1,100 meters and then descended, walked 11 kilometers. From Monday to Saturday, I have finished. Yes, I have just finished hunting. Okay, prepare all the questions. Prepare all the questions. It's hot. Many thanks to the organizers, Petrovich, Sergei, Semyon. Petrovich, you really amazed me when you were climbing up the vertical mountain. It's easy, there's a cleft. I couldn't even imagine that. I expected him to return, but no, he climbs on and on. The goal is reached, the work is done. For health, health is the most important. I wish you good guests and prosperity to your hunting farm. Let the beasts multiply. Today was a very sunny day. Now we will pack our camp and keep the way home. Native Ural, Ekaterinburg. Everything's great. A beautiful land, Kamchatka.